So welcome to the first JavaScript tutorial in the JavaScript series and if you're not aware JavaScript is the programming language for the web so unlike PHP and ASP um, it takes place on the client side which means that the whole application the whole, everything that happens it takes place on the client side so it takes place on your computer when you connect to the site um, whereas PHP is server sided language uh, everything is done on the server side so where your website is hosted and that does things like put strain on your server but it's also a lot more secure for dealing with things like databases and things like that so what we're going to do um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a HTML file um, and then where to put your JavaScript code now before you watch this series I'd recommend that you have some HTML knowledge um, if you don't, you can click on the annot annotation, it's somewhere here, um, and that will take you to the HTML and CSS series. I recommend that you go through that and you learn HTML and CSS, and then you should be ready to begin. Um, so yeah, you should know how to create a HTML file already um, from completing that series or learning however else, but let's just create a HTML file. So. First what we're actually going to do is we're just going to save a blank file. What we're going to do is create a new folder. I'm going to do it on my desktop. Call it JavaScript. And we're going to save a blank file. And just save it on your desktop, obviously, in that folder. And this one is going to be called template.htm. So the reason I like to use a template is because, wait, just find HTML in this. The reason I like to create a template is so that we don't just create all this starting code every single time. Uh, in Notepad++ we can just create a copy of this file. So call it template.html. This .html is very important and you've got to also select HTML from here and hit save. And what you can do in here, uh, this is where we're going to put our HTML file. So it's going to call HTML, close this off. And then in here, what we're going to do is head. Uh, you might be able to hear my computer fan spinning up. It's getting quite loud. So do head again. In here, we're just going to do title. And for the title, I'm just going to call it JavaScript template. Oh, um, I forgot to mention, these tutorials are in 1080p, if you haven't noticed already. Um, so yeah you'll be able to get better quality I'll try and zoom in and stuff because I know some people have smaller monitors so it'll be a bit harder to see so anyway in here what we're going to do is we're going to put body and then do slash body to close that off now in here is where you know you normally put your content of your site so let's just run this let's come up on that monitor so you see, this is where you put the contents of your site. Um, you should already know that from learning HTML and CSS. Now in here what we're going to do is going to do script uh, type equals text slash CSS, no sorry not CSS, JavaScript. Right, like that. And then we're going to do slash script to close it off. And in here is where you put your JavaScript. So I'm not going to end this tutorial here. Uh, two more things by the way, I, forgot, I should have mentioned these at the beginning. Um, my IDE of choice is Notepad++, it's free and open source, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, you can use like Dreamweaver but those are really expensive and Notepad++ is perfect for this. Uh, and for as for a browser, you may have already noticed Google Chrome. Uh, the reason I like using Google Chrome is, take a look at this, if I go to Google my internet's being slow. Uh, if I just go to the home page, I can go here, uh, I can into tools, developer tools, and this brings up developer tools. And we have a JavaScript console here, which is really useful. Um, so we will be using this later on in the series. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial.